Hi, in this session, we will see about the ad hoc extension. Ad hoc extension to be used if we have add any custom field in the standard table and while transferring data through ad hoc along with the standard field, if you want to transfer the custom field to the receiver system, then in that case, we have to use the ad hoc extension. Take an example for the metal master. We have different table like Mara, MVK, and MARC. Now, if you have enhanced the Mara table with some custom field and you want to transfer that from sender to receiver, then as per the standard setup, the standard fields get transferred with the basic type, basic add out type, and for custom field, we have to add the ad hoc extension. So steps for processing the ad hoc extensions are first we have to create the segment with WE31 in both the sender and receiver system. In this segment we have to add the custom field. Then using the WE30 T code we have to create the ad hoc extension type. Then we have to assign the message type that is mat mask in our case basic type and extension type using t code we82 then in the partner profile with we20 we have to add the extension profile this is adding the field and configuration part now once we done with this part then we have to do the source code enhancement from the center side we have to do the source code enhancement to pass the custom field data. Same we have to do in the receiver side. From the center side, we'll select data from database and fill the ad hoc container with custom segment. In the receiver side, we'll read the data from custom segment and update to database. So there is one, one more step. In the W57, in the receiver side, we have to assign function model to a message type. So this all we'll see in this session. So I'm dividing into three parts. First we'll do the this upper block, then we'll do the source code enhancement. Now this is my metal master screen mm03. If you see here basic data one here those two field carpet area and syllable area those field are custom field. I have added with enhancement. In the table Mara, you can see the include ZZ area with those two field. Okay, so those two custom field I want to pass to the ad hoc extension. So we'll start with the first step that is W31. As my both the client are in same server. Okay, and the app development is common, so I'm doing only at one place. But if you have two different server, then you have to do this activity in both the server. So first go to WE31 here in the segment type give the ID I'm giving as ZZ area underscore SEG segment click on create icon press enter give the description for Mara custom fields here in the field name Add our field. I have one carpet area and one syllable area. Choose a data element at the border level. Click on save button. The person responsible in process by give the package. I have saved in my existing request that is 6581. So in this way. We are done with the first part that is creation of segment type. This is to be done in the in the border client. I have common server that's why I am doing only in one client. Okay, so we are done with the first part that is WE31. Now create ad hoc extension WE30. Go to T code 
W E three zero. Here, give the object name as Z Matmas zero five extension. We are doing for the Matmas. Click on create icon. Press enter. Here, we have to link this extension to a basic type. So we are using the basic type as Matmas zero five. Give the description extension for basic type matmas 05 press enter here this is the main segment parent segment and those are child segment okay click on the parent segment that is even mara m and click on create segment here Give a custom segment name which we have created in the previous step. That is ZZ area underscore segment. If you want to make this mandatory, we have to select this checkbox. So in my current system, it is not mandatory; it is optional. If data is there, it is to be passed. If not, don't pass. The minimum number will be one, and max number will be one. Press enter. Save. go back now whenever we create the extension we have to release it go to edit here set release extension type cannot be changed after being released release extension yes so we have done release extension we have created the extension and release so here we done with the second part now the third part is assign message type basic type and extension type with we82 this is also to be done in the sender and receiver system go to we82 click on change mode we already have matmas standard type matmas will copy that only our message type is matmas we have uh, we use the highest one that is 470 matmas 05 copy this as it is and in the extension type add our extension which we created in the previous step that is z matmas 05 underscore ext click on save button save in the request go back so here we done with the third step that is we82 now in the partner profile we20 earlier we have assigned only message type that is matmas and matmas05 now we have to add the extension in that this is to be done in the sender side only first step to be done in both sender and receiver now this is only at sender side this is my client 700 that is sender go to we20 expand this partner which we had created earlier d500 is the receiver here in the outbound parameter we have message type matmas double click on this here in the add out type our basic type is matmas05 add our extension here which we have created now that is matmas05 extension save So we are done with WE20. Now we have to do the source code enhancement. The first we will do at the sender side. We have to fill the custom segment using the source code enhancement. Okay. So now what we have done till now, we have transferred the material using the T code BD10. This is a standard T code to send the material. Now we have to find out the enhancement point in this program. to send the custom field data okay so how to find the enhancement point this is the t code bd10 go to system status double click on this program name
go to object directory entry here this is the package name using this package name we will find out the enhancement point the enhancement object go back to find the enhancement object go to t code s m o d s mod click on f for help in the information system give the package name press enter so we can see the available enhancement exit name that is the customer exit for that t code bd10 so we can see the material master alu distribution so as you want enter a distribution so we'll go with this exit name double click here click on display click on components so you can see two function models are given one is for creation and one is for post method double click here so we can see this in the sc37 so here we have segment type message type and other details in the tables we have add out data so we can use this function exit for our requirement in the center side in the center side we'll go with the first one now you find a enhance enhancement point exit name now we'll do the implementation of this for that go to c mode give the project name and giving as matmas z matmas click on create icon give the description project for matmas idoc extension click on save button now click on the enhancement assignment give the exit name press enter click on the components here double click on the first one which is will call at the time of creation so as this is the customer exit so here system provide or uh, include z program which we have to create it. in this z program we can treat all this importing and exporting parameter now in our segment name what is our requirement here go to we30 our main seg segment is matma05 this is the basic type now this is our main segment e1 mara m okay so what we have to do here because this mara m is a parent chair parent level okay and in this mara m we have the metal master field using that using, uh, using that field matnar we have to fill the custom segment okay so we have to read segment type if it is even mara m then only we have to do further processing to create this include double click include does not exist create object yes save in a package now here first do the data uh, data regulation so our parent segment is dvakery underscore e1 mara m of type e1 mara m e1 mara m then second our custom segment that is work area underscore give the name as zz area underscore segment that will be of type zz area underscore segment okay now we have to select data from the database so we'll do one more declaration here as per the mara type first one is our parent segment second one is our custom segment and third one will be of type your database table of this because we have added data using this append structure okay the first one will be z work area underscore z set area 
of type Mara. Now, first we have to check the segment type. If it is of type even Mara M, then only we have to do further processing. Case that is segment type. Let me check. End case. Check whether this is right or wrong. Segment name. Okay. So case segment name. When we have to process when E1 Mara M. Okay. If our parent segment is there, even Mara M, then only we have to do the further processing. Now first activate this. Go back. Here in the function model, we have adopt table, adopt data. That is of type EDI DD. In EDI DD, here we get a segment name. And for that segment, the data we get in the S data. Okay, so go back. Go back to program again. Now, first assign the data from the ad hoc table to our local work area. That is the even Mara M. Okay, so work area underscore even Mara M will be equal to ad hoc underscore data. And we have the data in S data field, which I shown just. Okay, so we have got our data into the, in this structure. Here we have the matnar field. Now we have to select data from database. Select data from DB. Select single. That is our carpet area and saleable area. These two data we have to select from database. Carpet and the saleable area from Mara into work area into our local structure that is WA underscore ZZ area where MATNAR equals to go to pass the MATNAR. Okay, and MATNAR value will get from this structure from the parent where MATNAR equal to work area underscore even Mara M MATNAR1. So here by passing the metal code, by selecting those custom field data into the work area, local work area. Okay. Now, if you found record in the work area, then what we have to do? Move this work area value to the segment or custom segment which we have created. This is a custom segment. Okay, select the data from database into local work area, then pass the value from local work area to the segment type. Okay, then we have to add this custom segment into the adopt table. For that, in the adopt underscore data, the segment name will be our custom segment, and the value will be S data will be this work area data and append add out data okay i will explain again what we have done in this source code enhancement we have declared one type as parent segment type then as per our custom segment we have defined one work area then one work uh, one work area reference to the database type First, we check the segment type. If it is E1 Mara M, then from the ITOC data table, we have passed value of that segment to the local work area. Here, we have MATNAR field. Using that MATNAR field, we have selected value from database table into the local work area. Then, if the records are found, 
then local work area values are passed to the segment type custom segment now we know the segment id that is zz area underscore seg and here we have segment value that we have to append into the item data so here we are done with this part save check and activate i'm putting my breakpoint here to check i'm putting two breakpoint here for testing purpose now we have to activate the project go back this is still in red because we are not activate yet go back and activate once we activate this project they can see in green color the components will be in green color okay so we are done with the center part source code at the center side we are done okay so till now we will be able to send the data then we will do the receiver side go back create a material select construction roof basic data 1 test with extension base unit of measure here we have a z fill enter some value a corporate area is 120 and entering cell area is 150 click on save so id 491 is created so for first we'll check the center side whether it is working run the t called bd10 enter 491 the material which we have created execute so you can see our debugger is getting started because i set a debugger breakpoint there so you can see the debugger is here the segment name is even mara m so this will go inside here you can debug the value you can check even mara m so here we have matnar using this matnar we are selecting value from database table into the work area so we have value in our local work area now in the add of data only one record is there now we will append the new record we are passing the segment and the data now you can see two records are there first one is the parent and second is our extension okay press effect press effect okay this will run for all the segment because I said hard code so one master write is created and one communication write is created go to we02 today's date the second one is latest one which I have created just now double click on this write out expand data now to expand this parent segment this is the parent one right 491 which we have created now here is our custom segment zz area segment you can see the values are here and it is a green 03 means no issue from the center side we have successfully done the complete part from the center side now we log into the receiver system this is client 500 which is my receiver system here I can go to WP02 today's date execute this is the latest one 47 double click here now here also you can see this is the main segment with the ID 491 which we have created and this is the custom segment here in the receiver side also we have received the value okay but now go to the uh, mm03 t code enter same material id that is 491 here if you see data is not there in the custom field 
okay because this data in the adop this data is sent from the receiver side from the sender side from the sender side the data is passed we have received in the receiver system but till now we have not written the code to update this custom field data okay so now we will do that part which is nothing but the source code enhancement in the receiver side so as from the sender side we know the t code was bd10 okay using that bd10 t code we have find out the enhancement point now in the same enhancement point that is cmod only the second exit to be used for the posting method the first one was for the creation of idoc part and the second is for post but if you want to find out this from the receiver point of view so how to do that okay so in the receiver we have we20 that is the partner profile in the partner profile this is the sender logical system we have inbound parameters double click here this is the process code the inbound function module is linked to the process code to find out the inbound function module double click here this is the function model idoc underscore input underscore matmask 01 this function module read the inbound data now we have to do the enhancement in this function model go to sc37 the customer exits are provided using the call customer function press ctrl f call customer so you can see here here is call customer 02 means the exit is given by sap so how to find the function model name double click so you can see this is the function model name now if we have this exit function model name how to find out the enhancement point the exit name go back again go to s mod click f4 message information expand this all selection here in the component name enter that function model name and press enter once you press enter you can see the exit name is same that is mgv 4 times 01 okay same component so now we have to implement this exit this is to be done in the receiver system from the center side we have passed data in the receiver we have to read the data okay again go to cmod same project components double click on second exit here you can see f underscore cost underscore segment here in this we will get a segment name we have to read our custom segment if custom segment is there then from the mara table we will get the we will get the value okay here we will get a segment name and in the s data we will get the value for the segment we have to update this value for the material code of this f mara uv matnar so first implement the code double click press yes save in a package activate first do a data declaration for the custom extension that is gs underscore zz area underscore segment of type or custom segment that is zz area underscore segment okay now first we have to check the matnar the matnar will will get in this changing parameter f underscore mara underscore uv if matnar is not initial then we have to read this data segment name okay 
again go here going to change mode now if f underscore mara underscore ueb matnar is not initial close the and if now check the segment if the segment is our custom second is if f underscore cost underscore segment segment name equal to zz area underscore sg this is which you created in the w31 transition code okay if my segment name is zz area underscore segment then the value for this work area will be f underscore cost underscore segment as data i will explain again self check activate just go back in the function module in the importing parameter we have this structure if you double click on this here in segment name we will get custom segment id and in this s data we will get the values for that data now we have read if the matter is not initial means we have received a metal id then we have check if this is the custom segment then we got the custom segment value in our local work area now we have to update to database if gs underscore if gs underscore zz area underscore segment is not initial this at least some values are there in the custom segment then only we will update the database ok update mara set or custom field let me copy our custom field i think carpet area and the saleable area are there you have to set value for carpet area equal to gs underscore zz area underscore sg that is the carpet area and our second field is that is the update the saleable area you have to set both this field area underscore segment zz saleable area now don't forget to mention the metal code where matnar equals to this matnar okay so what we are what we are doing here i will explain again what we have done in this receiver side go back i will explain complete from the receiver side again in the receiver side we have this function module idoc underscore input underscore matma 01 which is responsible to read the incoming idoc data and post to database first we have find out the customer exit in this fm by going inside this function module call customer we found this customer exit there then we have done the implementation of this exit through cmod as this function exit which is given by include program then in this include program first we have read if the metal code is not initial if the metal code is not initial then we, we have checked for the segment if this is a custom segment which we have created in the w31 t code then we have assigned the value of this segment to local work area 
and that work area value we have updated to database table okay so in this way we're done with the last part we're done with this part that is the cmod in the receiver side now one more activity we have to do at the receiver side in we57 that is assigning of fm to message type and the extension type that will do in the receiver side also go to t code we57 click on change mode this is a cross client table click on new entry here we have to give the function model name function model this is the function model which is responsible for reading the incoming data the type will be function model the basic type is matmas05 and the extension type is Oh, extension type is not there let me check I think we have to assign in the receiver side also go to we82 yeah this is step I forgot yes we already have this here extension type let me check in we30 Yes, it is there. Okay. <clears throat> Go back again. W E fifty seven. Click on change mode. New entries. Give the function model name. Enter the FM function model basic type matmas zero five extension type. And the message type is matmas here direction which is the inbound direction and save save in the request i don't have any open request wait Before I talk. okay <clears throat> now we'll again run the same ad hoc which we run earlier W02 we'll copy the IDOC number from here. What we have to do in receiver system for this. Wait, which is my client 500. Go to W02. This record which we have received earlier will reprocess same record with W19 T code. WE19 give the existing ad hoc number execute click the parent segment click on inbound function model give the inbound function model name execute the new ad hoc is generated go back go to same material code it is 491 here you can see the record is successfully updated in the receiver system okay so this i have process i have reprocessed the old record now we'll create a fresh record again in the center system go to center system i will remove the debugger so that it will not create any issue component exit name I'm just removing the debugger from here. Fit. Okay, let's continue with debugger. No issue. MM01. Create a new material with MM01. Construction. Material type is ROH. Test with extension new ft2 this is the 492 material code give some different value it's a 250 and 300 click on save button go back now run the t code bd10 enter 492 
लॉजिकल सिस्टम की जो रिसीवर आई डी यूर की भी ब्लैंक नो इशू एग्जीक्यूट डिबगर इज गेटिंग स्टार्टेड जस्ट एग्जीक्यूट प्रेस एफेक्ट वन मास्टर डॉक जनरेटेड एंड वन कम्युनिकेशन आर डॉक गो बैक इन द सेंट्रल सिस्टम दैट इज सेवन हंड्रेड चेक डब्ल्यू ई जीरो टू दिस इज द लेटेस्ट आर डॉक विच इज जनरेटेड डबल क्लिक एक्सपांड डेटा रिकॉर्ड यू एन मारा एम आई डी इज फोर नाइंटी टू एंड द कस्टम सिगमेंट इज यू कैन सी द कारपेट एरिया एंड द सेलेबल एरिया द आई डॉक फाइनल स्टेज इज जीरो थ्री दैट इज सक्सेस सो एवरी थिंग इज ओके फ्रॉम सेवन हंड्रेड दैट इज सेंट्रल साइट ना गो टू रिसीवर साइट दैट इज क्लाइंट फाइव हंड्रेड इट इज माई क्लाइंट इज फाइव हंड्रेड जस्ट रिफ्रेश द लिस्ट दिस इज द लेटेस्ट वन फोर्टी फिफ्टी थ्री सक्सेस नो इशू चेक द डेटा डेटा इज देयर और चेक द मटेरियल मास्टर विद आई डी फोर नाइन्टी टू एम एम जीरो थ्री एंटर फोर नाइन्टी टू ओ इज स्टिल नॉट अपडेटेड लेट मी चेक अगेन what we'll do we'll put a breakpoint here we'll put a breakpoint in the receiver side i will check whether data is coming or not break portal this is my id that's why i'm putting as portal check whether that exit is working or not copy this idoc number again go to blue 19 that is a test tool execute in mode function model or oh, debugger is getting started you can see the matna is there matna is coming properly segment name is also right segment data will check segment data is also there set the carpet area go back and check again mm03 492 yes here it is when we do in the debugging mode it works successfully so we'll get one more id we'll we'll get one more material from the sender side mm01 test new id i have to check why it is not coming in the initial stage carpet sellable the id is 493 here sell again run bd10 493 execute go to receiver system again or directly check the mm03 t code 493 it is not updating okay let me check again wait so let me try one more time we bd10 493 
Let's remove the debugger actually. Okay, execute. Execute. Go to receiver system. Data is coming properly here. I have to check why it is not getting updated because data is coming properly here. 493. Okay, so till now it is working in the receiver client. If you do to the debugging mode through the W19, it is updating data. So I will check why it is not getting updated and I will show in the next session the remaining part. So in this way, we can implement the IDOG extension for transferring the data of custom field from sender to receiver.